take a close look at the animation. In this animation, a very simple experiment is being performed. A boy is holding up a spoon in his hand in front of him. Now notice he is rotating the spoon and seeing different images of himself. When the inner surface of the spoon is being held up, his image is upside down. And when the outer surface of the spoon is being held up, the image is upright. Now, before we delve into the details of this, let me tell you that reflection takes place not only from a plane mirror, but also from spherical surfaces. In this case, the spoon surface is a spherical surface. And these surfaces are capable of reflection as well. So what are these kinds of mirrors called? A reflecting surface, which is a part of a sphere, is known as a spherical mirror. So in the previous case, the spoon behaved like a spherical mirror. Why? Because it was part of a sphere. Now let us consider the same example once again. You must have noticed that when the boy held the spoon with the outer surface in front of him, the image that he obtained was upright. This outer surface is a surface which bulges outward. In other words, we can call this surface a convex surface. Now, when the boy held the inner surface of the spoon in front of him, the image that he obtained was upside down. Now, the inner surface is a hollow or a curved inward surface. In other words, we can call this as a concave surface. So, how many kinds of spherical mirrors do you think there are? There are two kinds of spherical mirrors. One, concave mirror and another a convex mirror. Now before we talk more about concave mirror and convex mirror, let us find out what concave and convex means. Consider this picture. In this picture you will notice that a tennis ball has been cut into two halves. In this half, the hollow part of the tennis ball is shown. This hollow part refers to a concave surface. On the other hand, the part which is the outward part or the bulging surface of the tennis ball is the convex part. So concave means the hollow part and convex is the part which bulges outward. So let us discuss about convex and concave mirrors. What is a convex mirror? A convex mirror is a spherical mirror whose reflecting surface is curved outwards. If you consider the picture, you will notice that there are two surfaces. One surface is this one and the other surface is this one. So a convex mirror as we just discussed is the surface whose reflecting surface is curved outwards. So in this case, as you can clearly see, this is the reflecting surface and it is curved outwards and this shaded region is the region which is silvered. So this mirror is a convex mirror. Similarly, what is a concave mirror? A concave mirror is a mirror whose reflecting surface is curved inwards. So as you can see in the picture over here, a concave mirror is that spherical mirror, as we discussed, whose reflecting surface is curved inwards. Now, as you can see, this surface denotes the reflecting surface, and it is clear that it is curved inwards. And the shaded region is the region which is silvered. So, this is a concave mirror. Now, I have a question for you. Here you can see there are two mirrors, mirror A and mirror B. Can you tell me which one is a convex mirror, A or B? Now to determine which one is a convex mirror, there are two methods. 
let us discuss those two methods and find out what they are here we learn about the first method here we take mirror a and we consider two points close to mirror a point x and point y now these two points are chosen in such a way that they lie on the side of the non shaded or reflecting surface of the mirror also notice that these two points should be taken very close to the mirror these two points should not be very far away from the mirror so what are the two points to be kept in mind x and y two points should be taken in such a way that they lie on the reflecting part of the mirror and they should be close to the surface of the mirror now after taking these two points join them now we find that we get a straight line xy that intersects the curved surface of the mirror because it intersects the curved surface of the mirror we conclude that mirror a is a convex mirror now let us try out the same thing for mirror b again in mirror b we consider two points x and y now these two points are taken on the reflecting side of the mirror that is the non shaded region and they are taken in such a way so that they are very close to the mirror and not very far away now after we join point x with point y what do we notice we find that we get a straight line xy that does not intersect the curved surface of the mirror since xy does not intersect the curved surface of the mirror this mirror that is mirror b is concave thus we can conclude that through this method we came to the conclusion that mirror a is a convex mirror so as we saw a is the convex mirror now you must be wondering that the first method to determine whether a mirror is concave or convex is or might be a very long method so do you think there is a shortcut method to find out whether a mirror is concave or convex yes there definitely is a shortcut method what does the shortcut method state consider the two mirrors a and b once again now in this case let us find out what the reflecting surfaces for both these mirrors are if we consider mirror b we find that the reflecting surface is hollow the reflecting surface is hollow like a cave since for mirror b the reflecting surface is hollow like a cave or is curved inwards it is a concave mirror you can remember this easily by remembering that that mirror which is hollow like a cave is concave so we can say that since the reflecting surface of b is hollow like a cave b is concave so since b is concave let us consider mirror a when we consider mirror a we find that the reflecting surface is not hollow like a cave it bulges outwards so is mirror a concave no mirror a is convex so what did we conclude that mirror b is concave because the inner surface is hollow like a cave the reflecting surface and mirror a is not concave because the reflecting surface is not hollow like a cave but it bulges outwards thus mirror a is convex so taking a quick recap what did we learn we learned that in spite of plane mirrors we can obtain our reflection from other mirrors as well that is from curved surfaces we learned about spherical mirrors what are spherical mirrors spherical mirrors are mirrors which are a part of a sphere that reflects how many kinds of spherical mirrors did we learn about two types concave mirrors and convex mirrors concave mirrors are those mirrors whose inner surface is hollow like a cave that is the reflecting surface 
and convex mirrors are those mirrors whose outer surface or the reflecting surface is bulging outwards.